So Earth, you see us human beings walking around on Earth, but the gods inhabit physical bodies to have a human experience on Earth. Mm. Earth is what you call a cosmic university. This mm. chapter that we going through is called misery. All our pain and suffering has a side effect in the energy system. It's like a video game. The longer we, the more of the misery we can take, the more of the pre karma we build up. Mm -hmm. So the strongest out of the strong are the ones who was at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, they got to rise back up to the top. Right. Right. Because the strongest have to be at the bottom to hold it up until it's about to be changed over. Mm -hmm. Then the strong got to take the lead. <clears throat> Right. It's like a um a system. Mm -hmm. This is what the um secret societies do they rituals to harness the energy of the system mm -hmm. by having you contribute your psychic energy to the egregores they create, you give them permission to control you. These egregores is expressed to us in the 3D world as contracts. Mm -hmm. Figments out of your imagination. How the fuck a piece of paper going to tell you who you is? Right? So the egregore, though, that the birth certificate validates that this is you. But what if you got switched at birth? You still going to have the same birth certificate. Right? Mm -hmm. But you're somebody else with that birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And that name. So you got switched at birth. So your DNA ain't going to match. <clears throat> All this shit is about blood and it's about rights. <clears throat> and the system is played according to the ones who rise up in the families with the blood and the right to exercise their jurisdiction. Right? It's a self-realization process. By learning who you are without nobody having to tell you, without no DNA test, just from the perception of what you've been taught through your family lineage. And then you use that as the first frame of reference to see the world. My mama made it clear to me from a little bitty boy that we weren't from Africa. Right? She told me about our birthrights. <clears throat> I don't need nobody to tell me that. My mama educated me on our tribal rights. So when we come into this reality, it's rules to the game. But don't nobody tell you the rules. You got to learn them by trial and by error. Mm -hmm. Because the pain and the suffering of the struggle builds the character to be able to endure to, to the end. Mm -hmm. Right? So all these is manipulations of energy. Mm -hmm. And this ties into the reincarnation cycles. And um, most people having the time of their life experiencing misery on Earth. Because mm -hmm. they might come from a planet that never had anything like it. <clears throat> misery is unique to the human emotional spectrum mm -hmm. in the animals of the Earth. Mm -hmm. Other species don't have emotions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are we the so, only species with emotion, Rod? Are we the only in the universe? Are we the only one species with emotions? Um, no, but a lot of them don't have them. A lot of them are pathologically sociopathic by nature. Uh -huh. Oh, you have to be able to think that walk them through it linear logic. Right? They don't have that emotional energy. That's a side effect of mitochondria, by the way. Emotion is a side effect of mitochondria. Yeah. Okay. Because mm. it's the feminine transfer of energy in high volume into the DNA. Mm. All of the energy that powers the DNA comes through the mitochondria in the cell. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So the right brain processes the second heart or the second brain as the heart. So you think with your heart and you think with your brain. Mm -hmm. 
you got to match them intelligence and affection. Mm -hmm. Right. That's how you produce wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right. So you get these two energies to flow at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's what they call balancing your chi. Mm -hmm. Right. By balancing your chi, you cause all four chambers of the brain <clears throat> to beat in harmony, activating both left and right hemispheres simultaneously on the same beat. Mm -hmm. This creates a stronger and more powerful vacuum to pull the gold elixir from the coccyx tail region all the way up the spine in order to illuminate the mind. They mm -hmm. call it the christening process. Right. Right. And this is where you receive your Christ consciousness. It's all part of the game of life. Mm -hmm. We go through cycles. We didn't been through so many cycles. It's starting to get hard to come up with new ways to entertain the guys as a human. Mm. Mm. Hey, Rod, we talked about, um, you know, these entities that existed before, um, you know, Tahuti. You saying you was an incarnation of Tahuti at one time. We talked about um, Enlil. We talked about all these entities. Mm -hmm. um, the entity known as Jesus. Probably the most popular entity. Jesus is world. ISIS. Okay, so Jesus is ISIS. Now, if Jesus is ISIS, hmm, that's interesting. If Jesus is ISIS. It's ISIS in Greek. Uh-huh. And they just translated as Jesus into the English language, but the J only five hundred years old. How long ago did Jesus supposed to have been here? Well, we hear we hear so many stories of Tahuti and the different names, like Tahuti, Hermes, mm -hmm. uh, T, uh, the what's the American name, the Tio. Tio, uh, you talking yeah. about Quetzalcoatl? Right. So, what about Isis? Isis, Jesus. What's the Isis, Isis is Tahuti? the Great Mother, the Queen of Heaven and Earth. She's known in Sumeria as Inanna. Nana or Ninma, like like Il Nana, remember Foxy Brown Il Nana? <laughs> yeah. So the the uh, the the great mother that came with Inky, yeah. She had a pact with the Prime Creator to produce a protector for the Earth, uh -huh. and this is how the women decided to create men mm -hmm. as protectors of the Earth. Yeah, protectors of the women. And the women were supposed to be the caretakers of the earth. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to assist them and protect them while they go out and grow the herbs that heals the babies. Right? They supposed to be able, like we fight lions or gorillas or bears or moose yeah. to protect the women because the women going to raise our next generation. This is the, to secure your future. So when you get done living this life, you creating the terms of agreement for the next life you incarnate in. You look at it like a radio station. Your DNA codons align to a frequency. The codons of the DNA is, is, uh, is alkaline crystal. Uh -huh. And crystals relay information. <clears throat> the information attunes the DNA to set the frequency in which it produces the individual by building it up cell by cell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So once you get into the form of an adult human, you should be able to communicate with every cell in your body. But they mm -hmm. take the knowledge from you mm -hmm. to confuse you so that you can make an error in this life that you have to pay for in the next one. Mm. These are the, the basic laws of uh, energy conservation, mm -hmm. entropy. They, can, they know how to harness the decay of the entropy on the dark side at a negative energy in order to generate positive, progressive energy. Right, right. Right, so taking dark forces, using them to produce things to assist the light. Mm -hmm. In other words, man, light bulbs so the house ain't dark. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So it requires the entropy, the breakdown in the energy in order for the energy to alter form. Mm -hmm. When the energy begins to move, it produces friction, which generates light. Mm 
and from the darkness come the light. That's all e Egyptian science. Mm -hmm. Right? And the Egyptian science come from over here. The mm -hmm. temple priests was all priests of the order of Tahuti who went to teach all the people of the world mm -hmm. by setting up universities of all types all around the world according to the culture of the people in the local area. Mm -hmm. The goal was is not you're not supposed to upset the culture of the people with the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did exactly the opposite to us. But our mm -hmm. culture persisted and it bubbled up in the blues, R and B, altered the music, right? And then you get into hip hop. Mm -hmm. And hip hop become the most powerful aspect of our culture. And it also become the most powerful vehicle to transfer information from tribes, chief to tribe, chief without them ever seeing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put it in a song. Indeed. Uh, Rod, in terms of, you know, earlier you talked about women creating men to protect them. Uh, in terms of reincarnating in this realm, many people have asked, can you reincarnate into different races? What I want to know is, can you reincarnate into different genders? Like you talked about you being Tahuti. Have you ever been a woman in a past life? Can we talk about some of your past lives? Like, have you been a woman in the past? I life? always come back as a protector. Always come back as a protector. Is it possible yeah. to go as from a woman, one life? Yeah. Okay. Some of, some of the, that's some of the contracts that people choose before they incarnate. Mm -hmm. They might choose a seven life path. That means they make an agreement they want to live seven distinct different types of lives before they finish their university degree. Interesting. Very interesting. Wow. So in each incarnation, which is just another semester of university on Earth, but they be lived all of the seven lives that they put into as they wanted their curriculum to be. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You and you can end it at any time just by waking up to who you are. You can take, you can get out the out the matrix. Mm -hmm. Would you say every death is an assisted suicide because essentially it's mind over matter, and whenever a person dies, they essentially want to die? Would you call it a assisted suicide? Every death? No, not necessarily. It could be a um, it could be in a soul contract. It could be in a soul contract. Your, your soul contract is your curriculum for the semester. Ooh. <laughs> What's just your semester is your lifetime. Yeah. Okay. This is and when you, you you get multiple semesters, that's why I say you might have a seven life degree. Yeah. Where you got to get seven life experiences of seven different kinds in order to graduate from University of Earth and get your degree. Rod, how many times would you say you've been down here, my brother? Just curious. Somebody like yourself, you know a lot. How, how many times has Rod been in this realm? I lost count. Give me a. But sometimes I don't never come to full consciousness as to who I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Like now, I, I like I, now it was it was required uh -huh. to break the conjure that had us discussing which side of the water we come from. Mm. This was a, this was a voodoo conjure. It was ritualistically done in Masonic lodges. Mm -hmm. The overt uh, paper genocide was the paper trail for us to trace back what they did to switch us out and put us off in the um, trail of tears and switch us out with the Dawes Row Indians, the five dollar Indians, mm -hmm. the ones they brought over as servants. Mm -hmm. We ain't never supposed to be able to read the history books and know who their mortal enemies was until the. French Revolution and the Spanish Inquisition and the expulsion of the Moors from Spain. So we're supposed to be so convinced that we Moors that we don't know what side of the water we from. Mm -hmm. I'm Mississippi clay dirt. Mm -hmm. I know I'm from over here. I have, I have multiple lives of going through the bayou in Louisiana to my big mama to be blessed again to come back in a lifetime. Mm. And then this time I end up having to go see her in the inner city. I automatically knew from birth something is wrong. I didn't know what it was yet, though. Mm -hmm. So over the years, we learned to read the language that the other elders put into the 
community. Mm-hmm. Then they sent us from community to community learning the local languages of the local clans. We call it the local slang or the local lingo. Mm-hmm. Everybody got their little way they use tribal tongue to flip code. Mm-hmm. And you have to be exposed to a certain amount of tribes in order to read what's called the Grand Tribe Design. Mm-hmm. The Grand Tribe Design tells the other chiefs to organize, organize, and then organize. It's time to reclaim the land. Mm-hmm. They can't stop what's coming. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And this is all part of the, the big graduation ceremony. Mm-hmm. The the final hurrah what's before the big, gra- the big graduation the big said all of the seniors getting out. Who's the seniors? What do you mean? Uh, you got- the different masters, they'd be seen. Right? They all graduate to their elder seats. I remember you told me there's a lot of masters down here right now. You told me that, right? Yeah. yeah. They come from all different eras in time to incarnate at the end to get their graduation caps. Right, right. Mm. Wow. Let me ask you this, Rod. So we got something that we call down here. People say, oh, you are old. So a lot of people have told me I'm old. So or sometime if a person act a certain way, they say, oh, they're a young. So now if we all come from this primordial soup, a.k.a. Big Mama, a.k.a. God or whatever term we want to use, we all emanate from that. And some of us are old souls. We've been down here a while. What the hell were the young souls doing? What, 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 since they weren't okay, down first here? Of all, like, first of all, you have to attach your ego to the soul. You have to give it an identity. Mm. Doing this <clears throat> by creating an identity, the personality type is aligned to a frequency, just like a radio station. Yeah. Every time you come back, you could be born in a different family, but your radio station on the same frequency in the DNA. So it can only broadcast you through. You the only one can fit through your template. Mm -hmm. Then sometime through the merger and the flipping the new DNA helixes off the RNA DNA exchange, a new strain comes up. Right? That's a new piece of information to be shared. And then the change can also be seen in the species. <clears throat> but what I want to know, Rod, is if the soul is young and they weren't down here, where were they lingering? Were they on other planets? Were they still in that oneness? It's like where this. Were... When the when the desktop computer first came out, what happened mm-hmm. when the laptop came out? The, the, the desktop had to evolve and get smaller in order right. to compete with the laptop. Right, right. The laptop is portable, can go anywhere. It's still a computer. It's just a different personality type. Mm. Right? But the dull desktop had to adapt in order to not be left behind by the laptop. Right. That's the the level of upgrades. Species go through the same levels of upgrades. Mm -hmm. The codes from different positions and seasons of the sun and it's a communication with the earth tells the earth what to tell us to morph into next what they call mm-hmm. evolution of species it's a communication it's a mm-hmm. code and the DNA this is what's so important about cracking DNA codes and study of epigenetics and the sequence of the two because then you get to realize that you projected from somewhere else into this body right you identify the body with the name. Right? But the body ain't the name. The name is just the way that you express to get your attention. Mm-hmm. This is the mental, what they call lock and trigger. Mm-hmm. So after you become programmed with your name, you take on the identity, you begin to build an ego. Everything that somebody say about you that you accept is true becomes part of your ego. And that's your false self. Because you never tested any of that information. You just accepted it. But when you start to know yourself, all of those things start to fade away. They call that the purification of the ego. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the, the whole esoteric philosophy behind the occult and the mystic uh, schools of thought being expressed through religion in redundant application. Religion is just a redundant application to something over and over. Yeah. Right? But religion comes from the root to bind down. Mm -hmm. So they perform in the function, but if you don't ever figure out what the function is, you, you'll be seduced by it and become a slave to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you find out the function, you can unlock the um, the hold it has on the psyche in order to be a liberated mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why you challenge your own paradigms among yourself. Mm -hmm. So that you can make sure that you agree with everything you believe. Because mm -hmm. you might not agree if you examine it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, Rod, you, you talk, you made the analogy about degrees, university degrees, you know, us graduating from Earth getting university degrees. Uh, let's say, let's use the degrees as an analogy. We got associates, we got bachelors, we got masters. If we get these people who get these university degrees, where do they, where do they go in the afterlife? Where do the people who got the associate degree go in the afterlife? Where do the people who got the bachelors? And where do the masters, where do the people, where does Rod Hayes go? Where does Rod Hayes go when he graduate with his master's degree. Where's your soul going, my brother? Let's use these as examples. Where are they going? I'm dean of the university, so I'll always be here. Mm. Right? I got to come to the end to close out each cycle by making the ones practice major cantors close them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm going to always be here. Right. My consciousness was created to be compatible with the species that evolved to the planet in which I would always take the highest form of human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I'm going to always have to come in and do some heavy lifting. Right. That's why it becomes a masculine expression of wisdom. And wisdom is justified to her children. And wisdom is Sophia. And Sophia is married to Tahuti. And when the two become one, it wakes the queen mother, the queen of heaven and earth, Isis. Mm -hmm. And that's how you put the great mother back on her seat by mm -hmm. the mingling the wisdom with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's the fusion of the psyche, mm -hmm. right? To be in balance. It's the same with nature. Nature always seeking balance. That's why water is always on the go, seeking balance. But Rod, let me ask you this. If you're the incarnation of Tahuti and Tahuti messes with Sophia and together they're able to shake shit up, are you spending your life looking for Sophia like Neo was looking for Trinity? Is you and Sophia going to be the equivalent of Neo and Trinity and shake the Matrix the fuck up, Rod? Where, got, where is your Sophia, my brother? I don't got to look for nobody. I know where they all at. Mm. No, but I'm saying a particular, like you're Tahuti. So are you looking for Sophia? Like Neo was looking for um Trinity. That's what I'm saying. I, I did when I when I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was looking for him when I wasn't. Mm -hmm. See, this is what all of the codes is telling us. The queen mother picks the wife for the king to be. Right. He can't be king to be until he find the one that the queen mother picked without the queen mother ever telling him. Pick it, okay, without being told who to, who to pick. <laughs> now, she don't know the queen mother picked her, and he don't know the queen mother picked her. Yeah. The only way she he can find her is if he followed the way of wisdom and she followed the way of righteousness. Right. Right? So, naturally, the wise thing to do is to seek peace, and the righteous woman is a peacemaker. Mm-hmm. Right, because she wants comfort in her home. Right, but then they're gonna send you out to clean some shit up when the time comes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you're gonna figure it out later on when it looks like it's too late. Uh -huh. But it's gonna come with an assignment. Uh -huh. And that's how the pretender to the throne gathers the support to seize the kingdom and restore the land mm -hmm. by following the steps of pretender to the throne going about pointing to all of the ones doing the work 
I ain't doing this looking for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this to show everybody where everything at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? When they understand what's been taking place, it was some voodoo shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they told us voodoo was evil and to stay away from it, so we could never figure out that they was using voodoo on us. That's that trick I talked about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Stay away from that, then they using the shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Even our music. They knew we used to trade messages in the music. That's why they used to call our music race music. Right. The blues. All of them's codes. Rock and roll was birthed by Little Richard, Chief Screaming Hawk. All that shit codes. Mm -hmm. Tears of a Clown, Smokey Robinson, High Chief, High Yoka. Mm -hmm. From the land. He not no African, he'll tell you. But he proud to be black. Understand, we had war. Mm -hmm. The war is the war of the man to the people. The people have to determine who they are. The self realization is the, also the activation of the new system mm -hmm. with us being back on top. Mm -hmm. The ones who don't understand the message is telling you who they are because mm -hmm. they can't digest the message. So they have to attack the messenger. Mm -hmm. It's over their pay grade. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have different cross sections of the community. The ones who know what's going on, they know what I'm talking about. But the ones that's part of what we call the conscious community, mm -hmm. them the niggas that's in the way. Mm -hmm. They more in the way than them church folks. And the church folks been in our way a long time. Mm -hmm. Now it's these so-called conscious folks. Part of their so-called woke culture. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't got nothing to do with none of that shit. Mm -hmm. My only thing is I'm informing the people that I came to exercise my blood right mm -hmm. to reclaim and redeem this land and raise the matriarchy and put the chiefs back on power on the land. It's already being done under continuity of government, but they don't want to read the document because mm -hmm. that required them to do something to verify something. Right, right. Okay. They gave us everything back. It's in the Indigenous Rights Act, but they don't know how to read the documents. Mm -hmm. We just got to know how to restore the original government. We have to revert back to a time before the advent of what we call the United States constitutional government, we have to go back to the Confederate tribes, oral constitutions and issue the oral edicts of the chiefs. We can't use their system to overthrow their system because by doing that, you supporting their system. You have to divorce yourself from their system, use the original system of the tribes that all tribes understand and put it in the public domain. Mm -hmm. Right. So we we tell the stories and go over the history. I didn't read thousands of books, man. I don't have time to every other word give you the book. Mm -hmm. Right. And then especially when I'm not doing a, a, a class where I'm pulling the receipts. But at the same time, it don't matter what anybody think. You know. I don't have no beef with nobody from that. I don't got no beef with nobody. All I'm just saying is when we doing what we doing to recover our birthright, go to Africa and get your African birthright, you African-American. And then you will have a leg to stand on to put some weight on somebody for reparations. If you don't have a leg to stand on, you need your own country with a lobbying body of Congress of their own to lobby for you to get reparations. Japan lobbied for the Japanese in World War II. They got it. But ain't no African country saying you from there. <clears throat> lobbying for you to get reparations. Giving you dual citizenship because they know you've tied to the land over there. I've been talking to Pan-Africanists studying Garveyism for years. They all over there say the same thing I'm saying. We from over here. It is some African in us. We've been marrying them motherfuckers for thousands of years. But if they tell you 
they not making it up at 21 and me blood, uh, blood tests, DNA test shit. It says for entertainment purposes. The narrative is to steer us away from the birthright to the land over here. The narrative has to disassociate us from the land called America. But we was already here before Columbus came. Right? So we have to go back to our system from before Columbus came in order to overthrow their system with our system. All of these wise legal counsels can't understand that the grandfather clause is in full effect when we go from Admiralty Maritime back to the law of the land and the totem pole. We had totem poles. We don't follow the law of the flag. That's Admiralty jurisdiction. The law of the flag ain't supposed to apply on land unless it's in the embassy. <clears throat> Rob, let me ask you, how long has this earth plane, this school plane been in existence? Like, I'm just trying time to... Time is an illusion. To give you a time is, is reinforcing an illusion. It's been other... here ever since now. It's been here right now. Are there other earth schools in the universe? Or is this like the premier school? You know how they got Harvard, they got Yale, and these are the schools you go to where you get, you, you learn some shit. Is that Earth like? Are we like the Harvard of the universe? Are we the Yale? Are we the Stanford, Columbia? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or are we like what kind of school? Yeah, are? this this was the school I mean, that I most think. this was the school that most species wanted to come to. This is all holographic projections in 3D. Mm -hmm. And our consciousness is in the video game, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Right? And we getting the information. Somebody's playing with the joystick, manipulating the DNA in order to get the message when the mitochondria send the signal. Uh -huh. Right? It's computer animated, digitally enhanced. Right? This is why you have um, ancient technology returning, like the healing chamber in the med bed. People talking about that's the newest technology. No, that shit ancient. Right. It's part of the part called the hereafter in the story of the redemption of the earth in the holy drama of the Osirian resurrection. They tell you it's the Christ story in the Bible, but it's the Osirian resurrection. That's why everybody got it slightly off. They looking at it from the reflection of an original story's reflection. And then they don't even know the actual people that existed that they tell in the innuendo story about without using the name of the person. The ISIS of the day was Cleopatra and they haven't found her tomb. Mm. It's, it's, it's the synchronicities with the story. The story of the crisis was written in a 21 part play by Josephus Flavius. It was to be 21 different people looking at the story of this Christ character from 21 different angles and they all had a gospel. A gospel is the good news, a good story. They all had a good story from the angle. But as soon as you get caught in one angle, you can't see the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. And it's an entertainment purposes. It's psychologically alluring. It's a hypnotic play being played out in order to seduce your mind and to believe in a paradigm that they can control. Mm -hmm. And that's how you enslave the mind at the most basic core portion of understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to use music as an example, Rod. Um, sometimes the older artists, they've been making good music for so long that they need a new muse. So what they do is they get with a younger artist and a younger artist gives them a muse and they create magnificent music. Now, if we if life is music and we're old souls and we've been creating music in this realm for a long time, do you think us getting with some of the younger souls, like let's say the Caucasian species is a younger group, when we get with them, do you think we will create great music because they offer a fresher perspective when we've been here for so long, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, we tired of this shit. So us um, having a seed with the Caucasian race, do you think that offers or bring forth a soul that's totally different from what the world has ever seen before because of the mixture of uh, DNA? That was all part of a game called white supremacy. It was a multi-dimensional chess game. White supremacy right. is a multi-dimensional game. It's part of a multi-dimensional chess game. 
white supremacy's foundation is called Protocols of Zion. Wow. Right? And the uh, the script is written as morals and dogma. And it's telling you basically how you follow the dogma and the ones follow the morals is the only ones going to see the story. Mm -hmm. Right? And then the story going to be being told, played out. Ain't it some America came in with George and left with George? Mm -hmm. Right? Because even when Obama was president, as long as the old man was living, he was King George, the first of the United States of America, passed by Senate subcommittee in 1991 mm -hmm. in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. Right? William Cooper. Right. Right? And it was part of a security agreement. The security agreement was to get the Illuminati or the deep state control of the government. George Bush would be the king of that government. And from then on, he was the one who controlled the next several presidents until they got to Donald J. And then his plan was derailed. All this is still playing out the, the, the story repeatedly over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then now they run in what they call the Kabuki Theater, right? Which was common in ancient Japanese culture. We didn't marry the East meet West, the uniting of Africa and Asia, mm -hmm. right? It's the uniting of the understanding of the, the mythologies because the mythologies is just repeating the same holy drama. Right, right. Right. And the holy drama traces back to the Assyrian resurrection and that the masters of the land know that when the crisis come, who to call. And they call on different one of the elders, what they call the family tree or the great Pharaoh's family tree. If you look at the gods. Right. And then you see um, Isis, Osiris, um, Horus, Anubis, Sekhmet, Hetheru. Right. When you're going through them. They all got a different a different function. Those are parts of the family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody at each function have to teach one of the children in the family how to perform each one of the functions of each person in the family so that he, when he gets to the top, now he know how to set the family structure back up. Mm -hmm. The nuclear family. Mm -hmm. The head of the family. Right? The great family of Tahuti. The uniting of the tribes of the earth. Right. They tell you the story in the avatar. They tell you the story in the matrix. It's the same story from a different angle. And all of those stories create what they call the great work. Everybody got to keep the story out in the forefront until we figure it out. So we figured it out. 